Hi, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Merry Christmas. Uh, here we are in the middle of Christmas week. Uh, Christmas was a few days ago and uh, I shot this video here just before Christmas and uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, wish you a Merry Christmas. Hope you're enjoying the time with your family. Uh, hey, I got a really cool blue T680 uh, custom ordered unit for a customer that I brought in and uh, yeah, we just got it uh, ready to go. So let's head outside and take a look. Here we are outside just uh, heading out to go check it out. Hey, before we go look at the truck, I just want to feature one thing here. So uh, let's let's go take a look over here. It is slippery. The sun is shining here today. Hey, hey. All right, just going over to our used truck area here for a second. And uh, so we got some used trucks here. I have this uh, purple Peterbilt. It's a truck I took in on trade. I am gonna put a link up to the video right up here. Click on that link and you can see the full tour on this truck. It's for sale and it's gotta go. 102,500 Canadian dollars. It's about 75,000 US dollars. Uh, Watch the video here up in the corner and you can see the details. It's Christmas, so maybe we can even work a bit of a special for you. Okay, let's head over to the truck and check it out. All right, walking through the skating rink here. I got this blue T680 that we are going to do a feature on. Uh, like I said, this was custom ordered for a customer. So let's, uh, let's get there. I got a few more trucks that showed up over there. I got some white T680s. Oh, there's that burgundy W9B that I've been waiting for. It's hiding behind that 680. Stay tuned. That's the truck I was hoping, it's out in the back there. That's the truck I was hoping to do a video of for uh, my Christmas truck, because it's red, kind of like Santa's sleigh. But uh, there's a sneak peek at the next truck for the next video. But, uh, and it's getting tricked out. We're putting lots of stuff on it. So it's gonna be a pretty rad truck when it's all done. But anyhow, enough about that one. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna move this truck into position and uh, do, the, do the tour here, so. All right, so here we are at the truck. It is a 2019 uh, T680, custom ordered. It's, uh, I believe, Canyon Blue is the name of this color here. Uh, we got the long shadows going along here, but uh, see if you can see the sparkle there. Really nice color. Just pops, looks really sharp. Uh, okay, looking at the front here, what we got with the T680, we've ordered this truck with a painted bumper. Uh, so it comes either in mold, uh, so that's kind of that gray, dark gray color, kind of like down on the bottom there. Uh, you can get it painted or you can get it with a uh, chrome bumper. Those are some options there. We also put on these, uh, hood mounted mirrors. Those are available in heated or non-heated and they are adjustable. So uh, they can kind of flip down up, up and out of the way. So I, I'm more partial to those ones than, uh, than the steel, stainless steel ones that are on a uh, T880. That's just my preference. So uh, this is a three piece 
hood it is all bonded together uh, but they have seams so if you do damage a corner here you can just paint up to that seam without having to repaint the whole hood and save on some replacement and maintenance costs there uh, the chrome mirror shells that is a really nice touch uh, also with the the chrome uh, accent piece right here on the air intake i really like that too it just looks really sharp makes the truck pop uh, we got the Durabrite rims, so soap and water, and it's nice and clean. Uh, quick and easy way to tell if it's Durabrite or not is this little guy right there. It's upside down, but anyways, you get it. Michelin tires. Uh, we got the engine oil pan and the engine block heater. No shore power on this truck, so it's uh, uh, got the inverter, but no shore power. We got the partial chassis fairings, so they end right here, and those are the factory installed quarter fenders so that's uh that's one uh, configuration that you can get we normally order them without and then we install like a half fender at the dealership here uh, there is an option to get an, a window or a door just with that vent uh, on the passenger side or driver side here uh, this one here we ordered with the passenger side uh, door with a window in it and that vent you can get it either painted or stainless steel we got the 19 inch sleeper extenders with the pedestal style uh, lights up on the back there. I haven't talked about these before. These little black panels, you probably noticed them on some of the other T680s and T880s. So that's, uh, Kenworth is kind of traditionally known for having an airtight cab. Uh, you'd have to crack the window of a door on a W900, for example, close it so that the air could escape. Uh, this was our solution to avoiding that problem, if you want to call it that. Um, but this here gives you a nice tight cab. Uh, it is fully, it's covered, uh, but it's a one-way valve so air can escape out of there. And we have a cover over top so you're not going to get road spray or splash back inside of the cab. Uh, your fuel tanks are tucked under here, nice and tidy. Got a 135 gallon fuel tank on this side and uh, looks like a 150 on the other, but I'll go double check that. Now we got the uh, condenser for the air conditioning unit on the back wall here. So that's factory installed. Uh, so this is a factory install setup that we're looking at. Got the uh, Durabrite rims on the back with the Kenworth AG400L suspension. And we got a Holland fifth wheel here, 24 inch slide, 7.8 inch ride height. And uh, back here, this is just your rear end of frame configuration. The 325 gear ratio with the Meritor MT40 14X3 differential. All right, so uh, let's take a look under the hood and see what that's all about. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna open up this hood. Uh, it's very easy to do. I don't know if it's frozen, so I haven't actually tried to tug on it yet, but uh, I'm gonna plant both of my feet on the ground, like so, and I'm just gonna pull. Yeah, so it is, it is coming open. All you need is about 35 pounds of pressure to open up this hood. It's very easy to do. Uh, so we ordered this truck with a Packard 500, sorry, 455 horsepower, uh, 1650 torque engine with a 12 speed Packard transmission. So it's a very uh, common combination that we order our trucks with. Uh, you can see all your fluid level checks all open, accessible, easy to get to. Let's take a look on the other side. When you order hood mounted mirrors, you gotta watch out. Those can become a bit of a hazard. Uh, here's your turbo, your HVAC system. I've ch shown this a hundred times. Uh, that's uh, opening up uh, for your filters in the cab. And then we have this uh, safety latch right there to engage. So let's close up the hood and take a look inside. All right, so here we are inside the truck. Uh, we'll give you a quick tour of what we got here. So this was uh, custom ordered, so we put a few extra options on it uh, compared to what we normally stock. Uh, this is standard equipment down here. Your, uh, your door locks, your power windows, power mirrors, heated mirrors. Uh, that's all standard equipment there. Uh, we have the... Uh, uh, the key fob here so you can lock unlock and then this little key fob here when you hold that button down it engages the uh, the exterior light test so it's going to do high beam low beam and your clearance lights and that same switch is right here so when you engage that uh, does the same thing as a key fob 
and uh, down here here's your adjustment for the brightness of your dash and then your interior lights so I'll just leave that on we have a backup light switch right there your signal uh, right here we have your uh, radio controls and your cruise control now this truck is ordered with the automatic transmission so this is your control for automatic uh, to engage your your jake brake you just pull back on this here and it shows right up in here your your jake brake is enabled or disabled i showed this in the last video uh, right here is your uh, your exterior temperature and it shows you that there is a bit of snow it's ice it's below zero just basically telling you that the road is a little icy um, your trailer spike uh, this is to control your dash right up in here and uh, right over here is you got your engine fan traction control your electronic stability program a couple spare switches your uh, switch for the emission system air suspension dump your, your power divider front axle rear axle lock with your fifth wheel slide uh, we didn't order this truck with a PTO switch, which is pretty common on a lot of our trucks, but uh, we didn't have it on here and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, we have your gauge cluster right here, so it shows you uh, your additional six gauges that, that we've selected and a storage pocket to keep your cell phone and, and whatnot. You could put uh, these gauges over here and put a navigation screen here if you prefer, and uh, or you could fill this up full of gauges if you'd like. Here's your standard radio with a USB plug so you can charge your, your phone and also uh, play your music off of your phone there. Uh, you also have your uh, heat control here. It is auto climate control so when you hit auto it shuts this off, shuts that off and it automatically blows based on what your temperature uh, desire is. So to turn off auto you just adjust that right there. Your switches for exterior lights and then your interior dome, uh, your bunk light. And that's a three-way switch. The light turns on green when the light is on, and it is uh, an option that you can control from the back. Uh, let's take a look inside the bunk and see what that's all about. All right, so in the bunk here, we have uh, the upper bed. Uh, so it's a double bunk configuration. Easy to drop this guy down. You just pull on, the, pull on this right here and, oh, I just didn't quite pull it hard enough and it just drops down like so very easy and you have lots of room so when you are sitting down there is quite a bit of room over my head here and same thing with uh, with up above all right so uh, with this configuration we ordered it with the uh, uh, the TV mount and this one is a little different because uh, we actually ordered it with a factory installed inverter so I've talked about this in other videos uh, so here we get the factory installed plugs and then the 12 volt outlet right there so that's a nice feature so you get a plug right there you also get a plug up here and the final plug is actually underneath uh, I'll lift this up here and show you you also get a plug down here uh, so that's sorry they moved it it's over here now so you get a plug over there now you can order it with a shore power feature so you can plug into the uh, uh, to a plug of a building and power the truck with that or with or without that on so here is your factory installed s bar heater there is the air conditioning unit for the kim's system so the kim system is a kenworth idle management system so what that does is it provides you with a heating cooling and power option uh, for the cab so you can have full cab uh, control of your uh, your temperature while the truck is shut off there's the uh, the heater core for the the bunk heat when the truck is running so right now the truck is on and that is controlled from this guy back here so you can just adjust your temperature and that guy there is running right now we'll close this up uh, so talking a little bit more about the Kim's system, the Kenworth Idle Management System, just put a, a light on back here. Uh, so the Kim system is right here. So this is where you adjust your uh, heating and cooling uh, for the for the bunk, and uh, you can use that year round. So that's a battery operated air conditioning unit. Uh, you get eight hours of runtime, <coughs> and 
it takes about four hours to recharge so you can basically run it all night while you're sleeping and then uh, you can run that uh, charge it up while you're driving the following day your switch for your refrigerator there's your inverter to turn it on and off and uh, 12 volt power outlet to the battery and then your control for the uh, the bunk heat back here there's your alarm clock your door locks a night light for under the cab and then there is your uh, your bunk light back here uh, we'll just take a look at a few other things uh, this table is the swivel table so it's pretty common on a lot of our trucks that we order we ordered it with the lower drawers and they have those rubbers right down there just to keep them nice and tight so that when you close them up they're a, a nice tight fit you're not going to have rattles and shakes there we have your tv mount right there so that can take up to a 22 inch flat panel tv some people have told me they put bigger ones in there but uh kenworth recommends 22 inch there's a mount for your uh microwave this is the standard uh compartment that you get with a 76 inch bunk whether it's a high bunk or a low bunk that's all standard you have lots of storage up above uh, this side here we have the closet door with a shelf and uh it's shaking a little bit here what is shaking oh the the little lock right here that's just shaking just because it's uh idling here the truck outside but uh, there's a shelf you got storage right there and there a little uh, hanger up there you can hang pants or a jacket and you got uh, storage pockets for maps or magazines and a little uh, hook for hanging a hat or something like that on if you'd like uh, here is your fridge it's a drawer style fridge with a freezer and this freezer does come out I've shown that in previous videos there's a little latch right here that <clears throat> that comes off and this whole thing can slide out so re-engaging it it's really easy you just line it up like so and it's done all right so i've shown this in other videos as well uh, we have the swivel seat so the way that you want to engage the swivel seat it's very simple first of all you need to make sure that there's air in the seat so you engage that the seat will go up to the last setting there's a, a latch right here that you need to turn but before you do that here i'm just going to set uh set the camera down so when you're engaging that you need to have the seat slid forward a little bit flip that down and then the seat will slide and then you just do a little motion like so and then the seat spins all the way around. It's really adjustable. So what you can do, there's two levers right here. So there's one there and one there. And what those do is they adjust how much cushion you wanna have underneath your legs and also the tilt of the entire seat. So I'll just uh, give a quick demo on that. All right, so the one on the right adjusts how much you want underneath your legs and then the one on the left adjusts the tilt so what I'm gonna do is just fully adjust it here and you can basically my feet are actually dangling but uh, you can adjust it so that you can have a full recliner and a nice nap or read a book if you don't want to sit on the bed so it's a really nice function of the t680 cab Hey, thanks for coming by the channel to watch this video. I appreciate you taking time uh, out of your day to do this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, just click on that little subscribe button in the bottom corner here. Uh, you can also click up here where you can see my used truck inventory. We have lots of used trucks. Uh, that purple Peterbilt is a great option uh, if you are looking for something that isn't quite new truck price and uh, it's ready to go. So. Uh, don't forget to also go to my social media pages. Uh, I'll put a link up there again, and you can uh, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, a few other different uh, platforms there. So check that out. Uh, we'll be doing lots of videos in this coming year, uh, and I appreciate you taking time to come down and, and uh, be a part of this. So as always, have yourself the world's best day.